Look, let's be totally frank with each other right now. There's already so many reviews of the Juin, and I think that is how you pronounce it, not Zion or Jin, Juin, Weeble S online, that you must wonder, why are you sat in front of yet another one? But is there any reason for you to carry on watching it? Is there anything in this video that makes it not just another Juin Weeble S review? Yes. Oh yes. And it's not just my cat to make this, not just another review. So I filmed the bulk of this review a few days ago. And since then I've had more time with the gimbal and had more thoughts and messed around with a few things. Let's head over to the main part of the review. So the format of a 3-axis gimbal review generally is the unboxing. Um, I've already unboxed it. I hate to start on something negative, but I don't like this box. It really is nothing more than packaging because you can't carry it and this has got no handle. I liked it before when you had a handle. That's generally how review starts. Next up, we go over some of the technical features as this is a new version of the Weeble, the previous Weeble. Uh, is very similar. This has much stronger motors and a few other tweaks. And I get onto some of those in a bit. Actually, I should have mentioned straight off that this is a sponsored video by Juin. They have hired me to make this video, but not to give my opinion. That is always mine. I only take these if I actually like the product and that is probably a spoiler. But of course, you're gonna be a lot more skeptical because it is a sponsored video and you're probably going to completely ignore everything I say. But then again, even if this wasn't a sponsored video, you'd probably just ignore my opinion anyway. Down in Richmond, I've missed the sunset again. See what I can get. Should be nice anyway, some quite nice light down here at night time. And see how the Sony copes in the low light. Try and get something cinematic.
uh, I think I've got some good shots. It is, it's a lot harder if you don't have a subject because the thing about gimbals is they're all about moving, right? Moving subjects and moving camera and therefore shouldn't always be used anyway. It should be used in moderation. And that's where the power of the gimbal comes in. Although there's nothing stopping you using a gimbal for locked off shots and I've used that for quite a few of the shots tonight. But if you do have a subject, a reason to be walking forward, hence I was following those strangers, it's much better than you just walking forwards with you know, no reason to be walking forwards. But I, I think I'm pretty happy. The image from the um, wireless transmission um, has been really good. Autofocus, which is what I'm using right now, uh, is really one of the most useful things to come along for gimbals because you know I've been shooting at 1.4 because it is dark at times and you know to be able to do that uh, if you didn't have autofocus unless you're just set to infinity means you're not really going to get many shots are you not in focus anyway the thing is though if you are following a subject it's knowing when to stop the autofocus so if you lose the subject then it will revert onto the background there's no control on the app to let you do a focus hold and now I do have a button on the camera that lets me do a focus hold, but you can't touch the camera when using a gimbal because it then will just jerk. And that's where this um, remote control comes in handy. And I've actually programmed it for numerous things. In fact, one of the buttons is for um, switching between Super 35 mm mode and full frame on the A7R4. And the other one is to turn autofocus on and off. So right now it's on. It should more or less keep me in and so I press this button which should turn it off and I turn it on again very useful so it's just finding a place to attach this onto your gimbal I've just velcroed up for now it would be great to have that sort of autofocus control within the app touch focus and ability to turn it off and on for me that would be really useful and I don't know if there's any gimbals out there that have that I just know that Sony have some tricky protocols to uh, program and to understand and to get through. Um, but when we do have that touch control for focus and things on the actual, because we've still got such a lovely screen and such a, a lovely image right now, to be able to just touch my face, which sounds weird, but to be able to have that and then that goes in focus would be ideal. But until that happens, um, I have my remote Velcroed onto the side. I can't use it for, for selecting a tracking subject what I can do is select focus on and focus off. And that for me is incredibly useful. I have to go now because I have to finish editing the video that you are watching. At my last count, there is 646,231 different types of three axis gimbals on the market. So there are quite a few. And most of them tend to have exactly the same form factor but it is the form factor I'm gonna look at very briefly. Not too much because this is not a new form factor. The Weeble Lab had the same form factor as well as the Crane 3. The key thing about the form factor is the fact we have this shape and we can put this tripod in two different places. It's gonna work a lot better when I have a camera on, but before I get onto that, I do recommend getting this accessory. It's the quick release plate because otherwise you've got to unscrew this and then screw it into there. Put that into, into there, we unscrew this here, put that into there, uh, this bit onto here. So now when we want to move the tripod to unscrew it, we put it onto there. So there you go. Yeah, I'll show you where I got a camera on, all right? I first saw the access lock feature on the Weeble Lab and it makes balancing and carrying it so much better. Quick release plate first. So it's clipped on there and screws on. So it's there, but when we have it balanced and everything, we want to take the camera off to change batteries, etc. We simply unscrew that, push this in, and it's off. So right now I would say this is not balanced. So now we've done one where you can lock that off and then do the next one. Not bad, is it? There we go. I think that's a, a nicely balanced camera.
one of the best features of the Weeble S, most definitely, is the fact it still has this small frame of the Weeble Lab. And it doesn't weigh much, and it has these stronger motors, which means you can put on a, a bigger camera lens combo than before. Because when you are shooting, you do want to keep your weight down as much as possible because it can get tiring, even something light like this. And to prove a point, I've asked some of my friends from around the world to demonstrate this for you. Um, nah, I'm gonna go ahead and pass. I've got nothing to prove. Uh, I'm gonna pass it on to Potato Jet. He can he can do the thing where he can break his other arm or elbow or whatever he broke because he's uh, no. Challenge accepted. This is gonna be a piece of cake. I mean, I'm used to just carrying this thing around, okay? That's my morning routine. I wake up, I pick it up, extend, squat for six hours straight. This is gonna be a piece of cake for me. I'm dreading it. I'm not very confident with this. Yes, I could like plank for seven minutes, but holding something out, I think I could last maybe like 20 seconds. <sighs> All right. <sighs> kind of nervous. Not doing this. Clearly, you gentlemen have completely underestimated my strength. You see that? So there's stuff there, okay? I don't know why. Why am I so nervous? My heart's like pounding. Okay, I think it's just because like I'm a female, so I feel like I have to I have to do a good job for all the ladies out there. But anyway, let's get some good center balance here. Oh, where's the timer? I need to know. Let's do it for Australia, shall we? Ready? And let's do this. Five, four, three, two, one. One arm over. One hand? Okay. It's not like it matters. Like, I'm good. I'm good regardless. And keep it straight <sighs> out. Straight out? Go. Ah! I have a really bad feeling about this. Okay. This is. Yeah. <sighs> I've got a super bad feeling that is, this is just not going to be very impressive at all. I think it's just all about the meditation. Okay, straight out is a little bit harder than I thought. Why? Who would ever shoot like this? Just... <laughs> I swear, why do you want to see us tortured like this? Why? Clearly, this is proper gimbal form. Just People say do the ninja walk, that's dumb. Just do this. Straight out. And Look like a robot. <laughs> Come on, Australia. <sighs> oh, I'm sweating already. What has it been, like 45 minutes or something? I'm starting to feel a little burn. It's getting uncomfortably heavy now. I need to do that breathing that they do when women are in labor, you know? How's it go? <laughs> Get over here and help me. I'm suffering so much! How long is everyone else doing this for? Okay, it's been nearly one minute. I don't want to be the first one out. That would be that that'd be so embarrassing. Okay, come on, come on. Focus, focus, focus. Hey, you come here often? <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus! Oh god! Oh god! Oh my god, it's getting really hard. It's so painful. Come on! It's falling down! Sit. High five. Other one. Go on, just a little bit more. I got I got another 30 seconds of me. Oh, I'm starting to shake. Nearly two minutes. No, I don't. I don't. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, Jesus. Ah! I'm gonna cry. Ah! Oh my god. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> it's uncontrollable. It's doing it. I don't think I can do it anymore. Oh my god, was that good? What was my time? Wow. Yeah, you got two minutes. Does that even count? I was like this the whole time. I don't think that even... I don't know. Philip, what was my time? What is it? Is that pretty good? I don't know. <sighs> ow, ow, ow. <laughs> I did my best. I'm sorry. If I didn't win, I tried. <sighs> I felt like I ran like 10 miles. I felt the burn on that one. Straight out, that's that's the hard part. Just straight, oh God. 
I'm not doing that again, so that's just the one take. That was gnarly. I feel like I need to do it with my left arm now, just to like even it out a bit. I didn't win anything for this. Whew, I'm so glad this is over. Oh God, I'm taking a nap. What are you guys doing? Lifting stuff? All right. Oh, it's part of some kind of competition? And you're lifting that? That's not even heavy. All right, look, if Peter's not gonna represent Canada, then I guess I'll have to. But I'm gonna lift something actually heavy. Yes, it was a rather silly sequence, but it actually has a couple of really important points to go with it. Whether I needed to spend five and a half minutes to illustrate it is debatable, but I liked it anyway. Okay, it is a one-armed gimbal. Doesn't mean you hold it with one hand. When you have the tripod on, use it, gives you so much more stability. And don't do what they did and hold it out like that. Keep it into your body. Very strange, look. One-handed gimbal, one-armed gimbal, and you have a free hand, what are you gonna use that hand for? I mean, sure, you can, you can eat if you want, true. And that's nice, but you're not really concentrating on your shots, are you? Because, especially if you're a guy, you can't multitask. I suppose you could always use your second hand for you know, using your phone, social media, and stuff. Put a wide-angle lens on this and, you roughly get what you need, right? One, two. One, two. Use them. The other point is not about gimbals, but it's more about filmmaking. You should already know this, but it's just to reiterate it to you. When it comes to making films, the one who has the true control over what you see, how it ends up on the screen, is the editor. original Weeble Lab does have subject tracking, but it was never great because it was using the built-in image transmission from the actual gimbal, which was not great quality and very laggy. They have removed that now and replaced it with this add-on transmission unit, which is superior in every way. So if you want to do subject tracking with the Weeble S, you must get this unit. In the app, you select what you want to track by creating a rectangle around the subject person or cat. It really does need good light though, ideally not big strong backlights, nothing too contrasty, basically the opposite to what I'm doing here. But after struggling a little bit too much, I thought I would you know, give it a bit more of a chance and put on the, uh, the kitchen lights to help it out. Even with that light, I don't think Jimmy was really making things that easy for it. So I decided to try something else with not great light. How about some ducks? How about me in a very backlit dark alleyway? And finally, with a bit of light, some random people who I am walking behind who probably don't know I'm even there. So let's go back to past me and putting on some different rigs and seeing just how far you can push that payload on the Weaverless. Sixteen thirty five balance and Sony seven three. Got a fair amount of clearance at the back still, as you can see. What next? 
Let's try the Fuji MK. This is not a massively heavy lens, it's under a kilo, but it's just very long. All right, that's a fail on that one. With more time, yes. Lauer probe lens. You would never put this on a gimbal. It's not massively heavy, that's the thing, it's long. Oh, I don't know, it's still very front heavy. I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna try it on a different camera. Zcam E2 S6. So I'm gonna go with a fail on that one. Nice. It's a nice weight, actually. Nice gimbal camera. Sigma FP was no problem whatsoever, and I have an image, so yeah. This is a very, very light camera. So it's the lightest setup I've used so far. So there we go, Blackmagic pocket cinema camera. No problem whatsoever. And I've got an image to the HDMI. So these counterweights here just add a bit of weight onto this side because it is so imbalanced. No problem whatsoever. This is from Small Rig. Oh, I don't feel so bad now because I'm going to bed and I'm going to bed on a, um, a high note because I'm actually get a fair few to work. The Weeble S has loads of things that I haven't covered because there's just too many features. And the video would just be too long. It's already pretty long as it is. I haven't shown you Vortex mode, well, I have now. It's not something I've ever actually used for any proper shoots, just for messing around, like the opening sequence. The transmission package that I have has the follow focus motor, which I didn't get a chance to put on. You can move the gimbal around using the gyroscope of your phone by just literally just moving your phone around and it will do all sorts of different moves. You can be really subtle or crazy like this. Again, it's not something which is really important to me. What I was looking at in this review were the most important aspects that I look for in any gimbal. How well it operates and how smooth it is. And I have to say it's much better than the Weeble Lab, which I never loved because I never really got smooth performance from it. But now, with the Weeble S, I have really smooth performance. And it's light. Look, I have a big gimbal with a ready rig, so if I want to use a heavy camera, I can. The point of these small gimbals is to put on my smaller cameras like my Sony A7 cameras or the EOS R. That's what they're there for, for me anyway. And that's why I want the weight to be nice and light. The Weeble S is the lightest gimbal that can take my setups. And I want the ability to put on things like a 1635 or 2470 GM onto my Sony's and not all of the small gimbals can do that. The thing that impressed me the most actually from my experiences with using the Weeble S is actually the whole image transmission. I can just put on my iPhone onto the side bracket, doesn't weigh much and I get a really lovely image and control over the gimbal. Depending on the camera, you can also have control over your camera via the app, just not really with the Sony's, apart from stop and start. It isn't perfect, and I'm sure with firmware things will get better. I don't know how much they can improve the ability to talk to the Sony cameras. I'd love it to do a lot more than it currently does. I may have failed to get the probe lens to work on the Weeble S, but on the Crane 3, no problem whatsoever. Look, the Crane 3 is for bigger rig and bigger setups and has more flexibility. The Weeble S is fantastic, it can take lots of different things, it just can't take everything. The quick releases let you move the tripod very quickly, they are much easier than screwing. What's much better though is to get another tripod, so you can easily go through your different positions and it gives you a nice steady place to hold onto it with both hands. Because remember, one arm gimbal doesn't mean holding it with one hand because nobody can hold a one arm gimbal for long.
Well, okay, hold up a second. What is that little A7 with a teeny little baby size lens? I mean, come on, I was using the ginormous 15 to 35 millimeter RF lens and I left a little tripod feet thingy on the bottom of mine, which is probably what, like 10 kilograms or something? I mean, Philip, come on, there's some sort of regulation against using such a teeny setup, right? I'm tired of being part of your experimental shenanigans, okay? As a matter of fact, I'm uninviting you from my next birthday party. That's right, while we're here getting lit eating birthday cake, you're gonna be at home just sad petting your cats. And Philip, I haven't seen your attempt yet. What was your time? Two minutes, a minute, 30 seconds, probably like four seconds. That's my guess. I have, I have put money on it. I'm going to drive to Las Vegas right now to put my money down in four seconds. Get a bed at some point. Where are you going? <laughs>